Going to concerts can be dangerous. How can you stay safe? How could I have stayed safe from my ex-girlfriend breaking my heart? Obvious answer is to not have dated her, but uh, find the answer to that first question here. I'm Luke, this is Stage 76. So there are a lot of potential dangers at a lot of shows, especially metal shows. You've got crazy people moshing, crowd surfing, all that fun stuff. You also have people who are potential predators. So let's talk about that first. The first thing you can do to help keep yourself safe from that type of situation is to number one, bring somebody with you. I know I don't necessarily practice this one. I go to shows by myself almost exclusively. The last time I brought somebody with me to a concert was last December, and I have been to a lot of concerts since. You know, just keep an eye on each other. Make sure you're always within an eye shot of each other. If you ever have to leave each other for some reason, pick a landmark, whether that's a big pole, a sign, or just some tall dude. Use that to help find each other later on. But at the end of the day, you two are each other's keepers. Make sure you can find each other and help keep each other safe. The rest of this pertains to everyone, whether you're going alone with other people or whatever. So number one, now this is something that a lot of people tend to forget about. Even I have at times. You need to worry about drinking water. Make sure you drink enough water, especially if it is hot where you are at or it's a big festival. Make sure that you drink enough water. I don't care if it means you've got to leave the crowd and you fought all day to be up there. It's not worth passing out over or dying over. I've passed out when I've been at the front of a crowd before. Yeah, it sucks having to give up that spot, but I rather wouldn't have passed out in front of everybody. Also, be aware of your surroundings at all times. A pit is a living, breathing animal. So if you're at a standing room show or you're in the pit at a bigger show, make sure you know what's going on around you. I understand you can only be so aware of what's going on around you. You also want to pay attention to the band, but you need to be aware of the environment that is transpiring around you are people moshing near you are there crowd surfers if there are be very wary of them because they can be very dangerous going near a mosh pit you might get thrown in unwillingly most of the time people are pretty nice about that but not always there are assholes around and they might try to throw you into an active mosh pit without your permission more or less one type of person you will have to deal with, regardless of whether you want to or not, more than likely, is a crowd surfer. Crowd surfing is controversial. Personally, I, I really wish people didn't crowd surf because I don't like getting kicked in the head or having people dropped on me. I'm short. I can't really help with the crowd surfing very much, especially when it's people that are very, very big people. But be wary of People coming above your head, if you're short like me, or if you're really tall, coming up the chest level for you. Even if you don't want to, try to help out, push them over, get them over the barrier, and then hopefully they won't be coming back up again. But you and I both know that's not going to happen. They're just going to keep going over and over and over. Also, in general, the shorter you are, the more in danger you are at any given moment. I'm 5'6", which is peak male height, by the way. But even somebody with the peak male height like me still has to worry about these people who are taller being potentially dangerous to me. At the same time, though, these taller people can keep you safe. They help assist in getting crowd surfers over your head a little bit more easily. They can shield you from other big people and mosh pits although it does suck when you can't see past them like there are people who are like shorter than five feet tall who go to shows i don't even understand how they see anything at all because most of the time i can't see anything also 
be wary of any illicit substances you may be given at a show. In general, I say don't do drugs, but if you're going to, I would be skeptical about taking drugs from any random person you meet at a show. They may not just be nice people trying to sell you a good time, they may be trying to have an extra good time themselves and take advantage of you. I'm not here to be the fun police or anything, but in general, I would advise against taking any drugs that you did not source yourself at a show. Like if you've got Joe Schmo over here selling you something, be careful. You can take it if you want to, but don't say I didn't warn you. On the topic of mind altering substances, be careful with the drinking as well. Personally, I don't drink at shows. It's really expensive and I go alone and I usually have hour and a half plus drives to every show I go to. So I don't drink. A lot of people do though. Drinking goes hand in hand with drugs here in a lot of ways. So just be aware of how much you're drinking, know your limits, and also make sure, again, you drink enough water to compensate because that alcohol is not going to hydrate you. In fact, it is going to dehydrate you and make you more likely to pass out. So make sure you are incorporating water in between your beers or cocktails, whatever your drink of choice may be at these shows. Like I've had a lot of crazy things happen to me at shows, whether it's my own negligence or just the danger of the show itself. The first big issue I ever had at a show was I did not drink enough water and I ended up fainting over a barrier and the medical team had to take me back. Luckily, they didn't have to put me on an IV or anything. They just gave me a little bit of water and sent me back on my way after a few minutes. This was at Rock on the Range in 2014. I was missing bands because I decided not to drink water and that sucked. If you don't want to miss any of the concert, make sure you drink plenty of water. That's not the only time I fainted at a show due to dehydration either. About two years after that, I went with a few of my friends to an In This Moment show. The opening band was playing and I fainted in the middle of the crowd. Again, was it due to dehydration this time? Yes, but I thought I had been having enough water. Issue was, I was a little bit under the weather, so maybe I just shouldn't have been there at all, or I at least should have stayed out of the areas that could have overheated me like that. We were really, really packed in there. I haven't ever had any super, super lasting injuries at shows. It was insert old crew stadium festival here i was in the pit for miss may i i think and a crowd surfer got kind of dropped on me or they kicked me in the face or something i didn't realize it until i talked to some other dude later on but my glasses had actually been smashed against my face and i had a nasty cut up my head and I had no idea. It was fine. I didn't need stitches or anything, but that was still not fun to deal with for the next few days. Also, even when you're walking into shows, be aware of your surroundings. I got a big cut on my arm, which is still a little bit visible today. I probably couldn't get it to show on camera. A piece of chain link fence was sticking out and it scratched me real good and I still have a scar today somehow. Didn't really hurt that much but it was a little scary. If I hadn't had a tetanus shot updated at the time that would have been a lot scarier. My biggest injury at a show though back in June. It's funny. This was a few hours after I recorded the first stage 76 video. I went to see Spite, and basically I got roundhouse kicked in the back by some big hardcore dancing guy. That put me down hardcore, no pun intended. That absolutely knocked me to the ground, and it made me have a panic attack. I thought I was paralyzed because it hurt so badly. Uh, people had to help me up and 
get me to a safe place out of the crowd. It was scary, and luckily I was okay, but oh my god. Gosh, my ribs hurt for like three weeks afterward. Luckily, I've not had any lasting injuries. Oh, and my biggest tip is if you go to a hardcore show, the easiest way to stay safe is don't go. Don't go to hardcore shows if you don't want to get hurt. You are almost certainly guaranteed to get hurt at a hardcore show. <laughs> Metal shows are nothing compared to hardcore shows. That's all I've got to say. At the end of the day, though, just be careful out there. You've only got one life to live, and as much as I don't want to, say, restrict your living conditions, you still gotta make sure you stay safe. Thanks for watching this one. I'm Luke. This is Stage 76. When you look